If you're going to use your router to make moldings, you could run the router across some narrow little pieces of wood and hope they stay in alignment, but there's a better way. This is a tip from Berkeley builder Bill Young, who got to a job site one day and realized that he really wished he had his router table with him because he wanted to make some little pine moldings out of some leftover stock. But he thought, there must be some way that I can clamp the router down and feed the stock through it. And this is what he came up with. We've got a 2 by 10 base, and we've got 1 by runners. They make the slot through which the workpiece is going to pass. The router gets clamped so that the, the bit is centered a little bit off to the side of this chip evacuation hole. This is an inch and a half diameter hole in this case, and that's big enough for the router bit that we're using, plus a little bit, and it's on the left side of our workpiece slot. And that's because the bit rotates in a clockwise situation, and we want the workpiece to be entering the bit as the bit turns into it. You don't want it on this side. Keep it on the left. Notice that there's a little chamfer down in here. This is an evacuation channel for the chips and sawdust that we're making with the router bit. And notice too that we've taken some of these hateful subscription postcards that fall out of your magazine when you pick it up and we've folded them into little shims that set the router up just a little bit so that any variations in the thickness of the workpiece are accounted for. This old pine that we're using, is, is it's kind of wobby-woo in places, and it can bind up in here if we don't lift the, the router up a little bit. I'm going to clamp the router in place. We'll run some stock. I'm using my uh, favorite Milwaukee, which has these nice flats on its base, which allows me some really good clamping surface for this kind of setup. And I'm aligning it down in here so that I've got the bit pretty much on axis with the left edge of our guide slot. A couple bar clamps. Should we see if we can get it to work? That's a sweet tip, Bill. Thanks for sending that to us.